This is it. Hello, my name is Justin Witte, and I am the curator of the Cleve Carney Museum of Art. Today, I would like to spend some time and give you a virtual tour of some of the changes that have happened in our space since last year. The Cleve Carney Art Gallery, which ran until 2019, was a 1,850 square foot exhibition space at the College of DuPage. We focus primarily on exhibiting contemporary artists from Chicago and the rest of the nation, as well as highlighting the work of our faculty and students. In the fall of 2018, we announced that we would be changing from a gallery into a museum space. And to launch that, we would be hosting the largest exhibition of artworks by Frida Kahlo to be shown in the Chicago area in over 40 years. This collection, which would be on loan from the Dolores Olmedo Museum in Mexico City, would not only bring thousands of new visitors to campus, but also required that we made changes to our physical space in order to properly display and protect such a world-class collection of artworks. Working closely with our partners on campus, as well as the architects at White Architecture and the builders at Mortensen Construction, we realized that the best option was to expand north and take over the existing courtyard space to make it exhibition space. And in September of 2019, construction began on the expansion of the gallery space. One key feature on the exterior of the space are these custom architectural panels designed by white architects. They were designed to distinguish this unique museum space from other buildings on campus. And here we are. You can see the finished wall panels here. Um, it's especially neat how the light hits them through the day, casting different shadows. And this unique video monitor that was designed by white architects and placed up is a HD video screen that actually wraps around the corner of the building and we can program whatever we want on there. It can be video, it can be highlights from the Mackinac Art Center. Right now we just have the ad for our upcoming show. That show of course being Frida Kahlo Timeless. Um, these panels continue down and cover the whole extension down the walkway towards the Lakeside Pavilion. Now, of course, as much work that has happened outside of the space, even more has happened inside. So let's look at that. So what you're seeing here are some early images of the gallery as the construction started. As you can see, there was a lot of reopening the walls to access control panels, to install our new security system and lighting system, and also to build out the expanded area. One neat feature that happened during the construction is once the walls and ceiling of the expanded area were complete, Mortensen Construction um, allowed key members from the college community in to spray paint the walls and kind of leave their mark in the space. So when you come visit us, just know that behind the drywall and the plywood behind that drywall, you have spray paint from all sorts of different leaders within the college. It's kind of a fun, it was a fun event to recognize everyone who's helped support us um, and also an interesting way to kind of leave our mark on the gallery space. In addition to the expansion, we created a number of floating walls in the space which can be added to or um, the walls can actually be removed depending on the exhibit we need. We of course also have a large amount of uh, modular exhibition walls that can be reconfigured in all different shapes to make different viewing experiences. So now let's walk through the completed space. Here we are looking at the new uh, title etched into the glass. We now have an entrance and exit door. Around those doors there's a security gate that comes down each night. And as we walk along um, the east side of the gallery, you see this strip in the floor um, where now that's where the windows of the old gallery used to be. So this was kind of the end of the old space here. So looking back, that was the extent 
of our old gallery space. And then as we walk on here, this is all completely new space. This was the courtyard. So this is that underground area that outside is covered by that um, architectural panel. All these walls are backed with plywood, um, so you can hang pretty much anywhere on the walls. The ceiling is as well. Um, and what you're not seeing is all those lasers and detectors I, I talked about that really uh, protect the space. If you get too close to the wall, there's an alarm go off. If you're in the space where you're not supposed to, if you just move an inch, it'll go off. Um, so now we're at the back corner and you can see the length of the space. Even though it's, it's just empty right now, you really get a sense of the scale walking this direction. You can also see a lot of the cameras and um, other security hardware mounted on the ceiling. So back into what was the original space. And if you notice on that back wall, there used to be a storage door right in the middle of that wall that went to our storage and preparation room. Uh, but it was always kind of a hassle because it ruined uh, a good exhibition wall. So we actually moved that entire door and now we have that whole exhibition space. That's here. And these bump outs are meant to mimic the bump outs that naturally occurred on the other end of the gallery. So there it is. Look at all those beautiful lights. Can't wait to see artwork in here. <laughs> now the work that we've done has not been limited uh, to the gallery museum space as well. Uh, since the Frida Kahlo Timeless Exhibition is such a big uh, endeavor and will attract such a large audience we want to provide as immersive and broad as experience as possible we're actually filling the entire Mackinac Art Center with elements of the exhibition a large part of that will be in the Art Center lobby some of you may be familiar with this space here's some pictures as you may recognize it it's a large open almost cathedral like space for the exhibition this will be actually the space you first enter um, and it'll be filled with uh, historical information about Frida Kahlo, a timeline of her life, recreations of her bed, um, of her kind of famous iconic clothing, some of the corsets she wore. So this space will really provide a lot of context to who Frida was, the time in which she was making artwork, and kind of the importance and ideas behind each of the pieces in our exhibit. But to do this, we had to change, uh, we had to really change the lobby space, not only to be able to fit all of this information, but also to control uh, people as they travel through the space. So again, here's, here's what the space looked like before. And now let's give a quick tour of some of the changes that we've created. So if you enter from the main entrance, you see right away that opening has been narrowed. So we'll have two kind of tidal walls as you come in. Um, and then around the side where people may enter um, along these walls will actually have a photographic exhibition from photos from the Almedo Museum and on my right over here is the gallery and then if we look look down here this wall which is filled in one of the openings will be a continuation of um, that photo show. But of course, these walls can also be used in the meantime, before Frida, to exhibit artwork. So as soon as we're uh, able to open again, we plan on exhibiting artwork. This over here is the new gift shop area. And then let's walk into the main lobby. All right, excuse me. Um, so as you can see, these openings have been uh, really beautifully walled off again by Mortensen construction. And this area will be where that timeline wraps around. We're going to have some floating walls in here as well, so it won't just be this big open area. There'll be a different floor covering um, and, of course, uh, painted walls. Here's some more still images uh, of some of the details of the changes to that space. Again, Mortensen was able to complete all this work while, while the rest of campus was, uh, was closed. And some of these photos are from that period. I was curious how this might work out, but actually the flow is really nice um, and it creates kind of this wonderful central space. On some of the upper walls, we'll probably also incorporate elements. Um, that gift shop I mentioned, 
That is built out of like a temporary wall system and that will also be used in exhibitions beyond and before Frida as well. So as you can see, uh, we've been busy making a lot of changes in preparation, not only for Frida Kahlo Timeless, but also for years and years of museum programming on the College of DuPage campus. We are so uh, eager to be able to get back in the space, but we know we can't do it until it's safe for us in our community. Until that time, we'll keep creating content for you online. We'll be streaming shows from the Mackinac Arts Center, and we're gonna stay as active as ever. And when we are able, we really look forward to welcoming you back into this wonderful space. Thank you so much for spending some time